was sitting, waiting, wishing you believed in superstition. Hi, my name is Aiz Garcia, and we're going to talk about alternative fuel and Russia. Hi, I am Andre, and this movie is about contamination and alternative fuels. Plus the land of petroleum, global warming. All of these things have people looking for outer energy sources. One man found one, and may have paid the price of his freedom for it. Meet David Colts. At the time of this report, he's under arrest for trying a new form of fuel. Cooking oil. It just seemed like a good idea. I just tried using tomatoes and paper, but I ended up spending hundreds of dollars in car repairs, so that didn't work out. And besides, you know, I thought vegetable oil has something to do with oil. I mean, they both have the word oil in them, so they might have worked. So David decided to take the, the car out for a test drive, a very effective test drive. But unfortunately, that luck was not to last. GTA, man, get out of the car. Get out of okay, the car, okay. man. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Car, man. Why, Why does it smell like french fries, man? Uh, it's got oil instead of gasoline. You used cooking oil for the car, man? Yeah, I used it instead of gasoline. Did you know that was illegal, man? You're crazy, man. It is? Yeah! Yeah, it is. You know, my cousin works for the EPA. I should know. Oh. Yeah, do you mind if I reported you? No, not at all, man. Uh, can you hold a gun? Time, I need to so make sure. a call. Yeah. But nice. Yeah, shiny. Yeah, just don't point it at me. The cousin? Yeah. Yeah, this is me, Roger. Yeah, you know, I got a car on Elm Street that runs on cooking oil, man. It smells like french fries in here. Yeah, it's illegal. He didn't know, man. He didn't know. Can you bring in the cops? Yeah, the guy's crazy. The guy's crazy. Hey, wait. Hey, man, even if you don't end up in jail, do you think I can keep the vehicle? Sure, yeah, I mean, it's... I guess. Yeah, it's a robbery. The constitution of this country says that the use of any unofficial fuel source is out of bounds. <laughs> I guess that's another reason to tell kids to stay in school. Okay, so uh, one question because we interviewed some of your friends and relatives and they all say that you weren't really keen on protecting the environment. I mean, a lot of them said that you really didn't seem to care about issues like global warming or politics or anything like that. So I have one question, I mean, what, what made you do this, I mean, what was the reason? I met this girl. She wouldn't want me to tell her name on TV. She's shy. But if she's watching this, she's gotta know that I'm in love with her. And that I did this for her. She wanted people to make a change. I did one. Just for her. Clouds to keep the sun from being jealous like the moon.